Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. Got one here from the Windridge Farm Brewery. This is another one from their Silo series. This is Endless Horizon IPA, okay? And it comes in at 6.4 alcohol by the volume. Let's say India Pale Ale tasting notes. We don't do that, but farm made in PA. I love that. Love that. Here's the label. This will be the third I've had for the Silo series. I uh, can't remember the first one. The other one was Cloud Spotting IPA, and I thought that one was amazing. I had a couple cans of that after I reviewed it, so definitely like that one. There you go. Put it so you can see it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Up to light, haze for days, absolutely. Damn near unclear for years, but certainly haze for days. Alcohol like six, sticking from that 6.4% alcohol by volume. Aroma. Well, if you can see a little bit of that cloudy yellow, yellow, almost orange juice quality. So, cheers. Wow. That is vibrant. That is zesty and vibrant as hell. I mean, that is a lot of white grapefruit juice, like really in your face, fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Zesty, tangerine, clementine, orange rind, lots of grapefruit. Wow. Nice, bright, piffy. Piffy oily hops, is wow, so citrus, and it's so much damn citrus in your face, it's freaking unbelievable. Holy shit. Bright, zesty, piffy notes. A little bit of a spicy, peppery tone kind of wafting through there, too. A little torrified wheat quality, not maybe full on lactose, but just like torrified wheat oat sweetness. Man, that is, I, I haven't had a, a beer that is so bombastically grapefruit, like fresh squeezed, just with a spoon kind of grapefruit in quite a long time. This is bursting, bursting with it. So here we go. Cheers. Wow. Those has it even, even hit like a, a mango or a strawberry kind of tonality in there too a lot of different flavors going on in this however i thought it'd be a little creamier a little thicker and a little sweeter but it's not it's more on that drier side the, it's a it's a nice medium body but it's not really creamy like like the new, new trail beers have been really super thick and creamy this one's a nice body but it's not really silky creamy if you know what I mean. It just goes down nice, has a little bit of a viscosity because of that haze for days kind of quality. As I said, it's more like a torrified wheat tonality. It's not really overly sweet. It's not attacking the palate with a huge amount of piffiness and like dryingness, but there's a lot of flavors. Yeah, again, I can't believe how much grapefruit is in this in a great way. Nike's tons of grapefruit, tangerine, clementine, zesty rinds of that orange, really piffy, zesty stuff. Again, a little bit more of that earthy, peppery kind of quality, just wafting around the palate. Really nice, torrified wheat sweetness. Can't label out this way, I have to label out this way. Top some more up. Get the rest in. Control it down. This, <clears throat> this year's, uh, like, for instance, if this something like this, it's hard to compare it with a bunch of different other huge, like, DI, you know, double dry hop, imperial, DIPA, blah, 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 blah. But if this would have came out a few years ago, this would have been the talk of the fucking town. That kind of quality going on. Such beautiful, vibrant tones of those citrus tones. Like, I got even a little bit of, like, a strawberry in there and a mango kind of quality. Just really, really crazy. Really good. Mm. 
I just wish it was a little bit more kind of like the New England style IPA which is a little bit like the new trail stuff that they do a little bit more creamy a little hint more sweetness in there to balance everything since it's not attacking the palate it just feels like there's an open spot where that could be in there if you know to really complete it to make it more cohesive so anyway still a really it's still really good nine out of ten this is really really good uh, oh let's see man it is good it is really really flavorful it's not gonna be for everybody because i said there is a little bit of lack lacking here lacking there and whatever but for what is this in this can it's it's really good and it's only 6.4 endless horizon ipa is really good nine out of ten from the silo sitters windridge farm again just doing some good stuff let's see India Pale, uh, India Pale Ale, obviously. Tasting notes is, and I like the fact that it's not like a hazy, it's not marketing it as the hazy. So, I mean, honestly, as an IPA, it's like a 9.5, nine, you know. It kind of has this, all the, all, they all have this kind of hazy IPA kind of quality, so. There is a little bit of a lackluster to a certain degree. Let's see. India Pale Ale, tasting notes of grapefruit, zest, pomegranate, tangerine. I didn't get pomegranate. I got like a strawberry, not a pomegranate, but you know, whatever. Hops are mandarina, citra, and mosaic. And they are just coming together as a cavalcade of citrus goodness. It's just insane. Mm. Tan, for sure. Tangerine stuff, but you get a little bit of strawberry in there. A little bit of mango. Maybe strawberry and mango put together tastes like a pomegranate. I don't fucking know. Anyway, all I know is I really like this. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 overall from the Windward Shard Brewing Company down in Dallas Town. Where are they, where are they from? I forgot to say. Dallas Town, Pennsylvania. Good guess. Anyway, this has been Paul's favorite news. Cheers. Bye-bye. Mm. Watch that finger. Ooh.